have the energy to go on another round tonight. I just want to talk. What could we possibly have to talk about? Drop it! Again, Delgado? All right. Tell me what happened. I finally killed Irene Man. Give me your weapon, I won't resist. She bleed out? Oh yeah, she's dead. On your knees. On your knees. Guns on your head. cider donuts you like so much? Well, do you have any idea why? Yeah, I figured. Okay, thank you anyway. I'm sorry, Blair. I played all the cards I had. I wasn't able to fast track an arraignment for Star. Why not? The mayor's going up the works. I think she thinks that by holding on to Star, she'll be able to flush Todd out of hiding. <sighs> what? So, so Star has to stay here locked up all night? I will try to get her out first thing tomorrow. Morning. Blair, I... Could you if Irene Manning wants Todd, she can have him, but she better not mess with my daughter. Okay. Damn it, it is Todd's fault here. Todd's! <laughs> Start by telling us where Todd Manning is. How's your neck? <laughs> no worse than your eye. Nothing a little concealer won't hide. All right, what do you what do you want? Why we are you need here? to talk. Can it wait? No. If I sleep on this, I, I might change my mind. It's now or never. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake him. I'm so sorry. No, no, you didn't. And he's gonna be up for a while, so you might as well come on in. We'll go to bed without his father putting him to bed. Todd, why would he be here? Word is he was heading down here to meet up with Irene. I don't think she's gonna make it. Where is he, Delgado? Why are you asking me? Oops, I uh, had a little accident. We're gonna pick this right up, Butterfingers, over here. Help me pick this and up. I am not picking oh, up yes, a bit of that door. Oh, I, oh, I am not. not lifting a finger with Landview's finest. Stick you in the cell next to Star. On what charges? Oh, uh, destroying police property? Running amok in the police station, generally making things worse for your yeah. daughter? Uh, me? Yeah, you no, come down here. Stop it. 
Your daughter bested these guys. No, that was Todd's doing, Taya. With any not Star. With any luck, I will be able to get a judge because of extenuating circumstances to get her off with a warning. But until that time, you are going to behave yourself. Do you hear me? Stop pointing your finger at me. Oh, are you mad at me? Yes, I am mad at you. I'm mad at anyone who makes things worse for Star. I already told you. It's all Todd's fault. Todd and his charming mother. Well, you know what? She can have him. <sighs> Listen, you don't have to pretend with me, okay? Both worried that she'll hurt Todd or do something worse to him. Okay. Uh, what do you say we try this one again? All right, I'm gonna tell you what I know. You tell me what you know, all right? We know that Todd was looking for Irene. They were gonna do a trade. Uh, she was going to give him evidence that was going to clear him in Victor's killing, and he was going to give her a microchip that uh, he had in his possession. It's news to me. So you haven't seen him? If Todd was here, he must have cleared out before I showed up. So let me get this straight. So you just decided you're going to go out for a, a walk and enjoy the night air, and you happen to stumble along Irene down here on the docks, and you decided, what the hell, I'm going to kill her. No. I was looking for Irene. Knowing how she operates, I thought it would start here. Knowing how she operates, yes. Weird, wild stuff. So, where were you when she was planting the bomb at your sister's house? I was playing catch up. As you can see, Irene Manning is no longer an issue. Stop you, right? You should survive eight years of torture. You could survive eight minutes in a room with Dorian Lord. You can do this. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, maybe I uh, rest here for a minute. Oh. Die here, Vicky's gonna kill me for bleeding all over a country kitch. I'm afraid that uh, Irene's gonna finish him off before I get a crack at him. <sighs> I'm angry too. Yeah, well, you didn't let your daughter get arrested, <sighs> did you? You know, I should have locked my kids right up in the house and never let him set eyes on them. Look, if it makes you feel any better, Danny's the one who convinced me to represent Todd. Well, of course she did, because we got our own Pied Piper here. <laughs> he does have his No, voice. he's it's classic Todd is what it is. Of course, I fell for it again. He does something, you know, he, he just ropes us in and gets us to feel sorry for him. And before we even have a chance to help him, he's gone off and done something stupid like, like this. Stupid. Be asking Star to bust him out of jail. And he knew, he knew that you would go to, to prison for it. But, you know, does he care? Absolutely not. No, he's off and running somewhere. Ugh. I understand how you feel. He convinced me that he is innocent. Oh, there's not an innocent bone in that man's body. I'm not saying that he killed Victor, but he only thinks of himself. So why do we do it? Why do we keep... Because of the kids. That's why we do it. It's not true. Okay, you know what? Now, now you sound like your brother. I mean, he thinks I have a thing for Todd. I mean, really. My brother likes you. Hello. Oh, you know what? Hello. I really like your brother, but I can't stand Todd. I'm serious. Why do we do it? Why do we keep running to Todd's rescue? Maybe because if we don't, nobody else will. No, it's not possible. I killed you. Yet, here I am. 
No. No. Ed, no. I, I have lost a lot of blood. I'm, I'm hallucinating. I warned you, Todd. We're in this together. I will always be there, no matter where you go or what you do. You can't hurt me anymore. I beg to differ. It's not polite to contradict your mother. No! You're not my mother! You are not! You're... You're a ghost! You're... A zombie! You're... You're a ghost of my mother! And you can go now! I don't... I don't need you here anymore! Nevertheless... Oh! oh. Your brother and I are saving you a seat. Oh! <laughs> Great! Where? Ringside, of course. Of course. We'll watch to see what happens when they discover your body. Relief sweeping through the community like a tidal wave. But not to worry. You'll always have us. Victor and I will never abandon you. We're going to be together from now on. Through eternity. Sorry, man. It's just not going to fly. Great. God, cut me and I'll go. I don't think we're going to go over it again. The story's not gonna change. I came to find Irene to settle up. She got the drop on me, I'd be on the ground, if I didn't wrest the gun away from her and get a shot off. All right, let me get this straight. You, trained assassin, got jumped by uh, that lady there. And that lady was an agent also. And I did terminate her. Yeah, oh, well, she's toast on that. We agree. As for the rest of it, I just don't know. Hey, look, Delgado, you may think that you're protecting Manning, but you're just making it worse for him. I'm sorry, John, I can't help you. Here we go again. Is that uh, can't or won't? Hey. Cam hasn't turned anything up so far. All right. Uh, I'll tell you what, widen the perimeter and wait here for CSU. Copy that. What about you? Oh, I'm going to escort this suspect back to lockup. Brody's really bonded with him, huh? Oh, he's his dad. Right, Liam? Yeah, but for a while, uh, John was, and the three of you lived together. I mean, do you think he remembers that, that he's ever confused? He's a baby. Do you remember anything from when you were months old? No, I don't. So why would my son be confused? I, I know. You're right. I'm sorry. It was a stupid question. I was just wondering. I, I, I didn't mean to make you feel bad. Liam loves Brody. He lights up when he comes into the room. He reaches for him. It's fine. I'm glad. All right, Jess, what, what do you want? Why are you here? I, um... <laughs> well... <laughs> there's something that I have to tell you. I'm sorry uh, about what I said before about you. But the family not wanting you. It was not true, and it was cruel, and I crossed a line. We, we both did. I mean, what, what I said to you about Mitch, that was heartless. And I'm... Clint is your dad as much as he is mine. Blood does not make family. No one anywhere. Says the man with one foot in the grave. Well, this is just a scratch. Always in denial. What a pity. I can wait. It won't be long now. A mother knows these things. And you, my son, are not going to make it. This from a dead woman. You know where I sit? You're only three. You're dead. Victor's dead. You never did get your hands on the microchip, the one that you tortured me to try and get for eight years. I threw it off the dock. From where I'm sitting, I win. If this is winning, <laughs> I'm gonna survive this, Irene. You said it yourself, you can't control me. I'm stronger than you are. Said the man, bleeding. What do you think is going to help you? Not me. And there's no one on the way. You are all alone. So I'm sorry. It's over. And we can 
blame Todd all we want, but it was Star who took the gun. And the fact that the men she held hands with were police officers. Wait. Todd. It's. No. it's yeah. Detective. Mm. Why is my brother in handcuffs? I think he likes him. Because he, uh, he claims he killed someone. What? Who did you kill? Don't, don't say anything. It's too late, buddy. Do I tell the man the truth? I killed Irene Manning. You're wrong. I'm not alone. My family is alive. They love me. Well, then, where are they if they love you so much? Why aren't they rushing to your aid? Where is the helicopter? The ambulance? Is that a siren I hear? No. You are all alone. And why is that? Well, perhaps your near and dear are not as happy to have you back as you might think. You are a selfish man, Todd. Using your oldest daughter to help you break out of jail. I wonder what's going to happen to her and to her little girl when her mother is convicted and sent away to prison. That's not going to happen. Well, maybe you should have thought about that before leaving two witnesses. And by the time she's paroled, Star will be lucky if her little girl even recognizes her. Which means Blair is not running to your rescue anytime soon. And Taya, you know, I wouldn't ask Taya to represent you. She'll be too busy whisking Danielle out of reach. Face it, Todd. They were more than happy to replace you when they had the chance. And they'll do it again. In a heartbeat. Irene is dead and you killed her? Look, what about... not another word from anybody. I am Tomas's attorney. I'd like uh, a moment alone with my client. Wow, that's what a caseload, Counselor. You sure you can handle all that? Yes, I am sure. But thank you for your concern, Lieutenant. Well, I am. I'm very concerned about you. Hey, Flynn, will you do me a favor? Will you begin the intake process? Oh, uh, what's the charge? Uh, it's going to be murder. into your family. All he had to do was claim that he was you. It didn't matter that he looked and sounded like an entirely different person. They all just fell in line. Todd is dead, long with Todd. That's because they missed me. They loved me so much, they wanted to believe that he was me. Yes, well, you go on thinking that, darling. But the truth is, they wanted to start over with a newer model. The old Todd was a bit seamy. Look who's talking. Ah. <laughs> oh, yes, you do take after your clever mother, don't you? And we all know how you take after your father. Now you've added matricide to your repertoire. You are a bad boy. No wonder your family is keeping its distance. And now your own son wants you dead. Well, I know how that feels. But we'll have plenty of time to catch up in, say, oh, 20 minutes. I have a better idea. Yeah, do a nice sweep and then check in. Look, all we know is that we've got gunshots in the body, so let's not assume anything, okay? Yeah, I thought you had the night off. 
Yeah, so did I. Should you even be down here? How's your neck? It's fine. Is that... Eileen Manning. Ah, oh, no one told me. Does the family know? I don't know. I've been here. Who's watching Liam, Roxy? No, actually, uh, Jessica offered to watch him. Jessica? Yeah, yeah, she, uh, came by to apologize. Seriously? Yeah, I was as surprised as you are. What did you say? She just said that she was sorry. That's strange. I mean, she wasn't exactly warm when I went over to check the house for Todd. I don't know. I think Mom talked to her. I think maybe this is the beginning of a thaw? <laughs> okay, let's not get crazy. There were no tears spilled and no uh, hugs exchanged. I mean, listen, I, I think her apology was sincere, but I don't trust her. You left Liam with her. Okay, well, she's a mother. She's not going to do anything to her son. We know this is how this all started with the DNA test. Your mom got pregnant and didn't know whether it was John's or Brody's, so she took a test, and Brody won. So many people got hurt. And now there's this test. God knows where it came from or if it's really real. But if it is, you're John's son. <sighs> Liam, what am I going to do? Hmm? She took one to the abdomen. Well, the powder burns here. Uh, looks like it was close range. Odds are she knew the killer. Any suspects? Plenty. We also have a full confession from Tomas Delgado. But it's obvious John isn't feeling it. John doesn't like him for this. And he's got good reason, so hopefully we'll get enough evidence here to back him up. Hey, come on, Jessica. You're a journalist. Look at the facts. There's this test. Let's say it's a fake, okay? Like the one that said that Brody was Ryder's father. Who would want to fabricate this test? Who would want to fabricate a test that says that John was your father? I mean, why would it be in Tina's dog bag? Let's say that it's real. And John's your father. Well, that's it for Brody and Natalie, huh? There'll be no wedding, no family, he'll lose her. He's gonna lose you too. Things will be different for your mom, though, you know? She'll go running back to John and he'll take her. I mean, we know that he'll take her. And she'll have everything she ever wanted. And she'll have nothing. That's not your problem, is it? No. You just want your mom and your dad, no matter who it is. If I keep this secret, no better than Grandpa Clint. Hey, Brody. Yeah. You said that there was only one slug in Irene's gut, right? According to the ME. Okay, well, I found two shell casings, one bullet's in Irene. I can't find the second one. Okay, so where's bullet number two? Uh, I don't know. Was Tomas shot? No. Because the blood that's right here, the way it's positioned, I don't think that could be Irene's. Where do you think you're going? I, uh... <laughs> Make a call, just a quick phone call. No one is going to take a call from you. Give it up, Todd. Let it go. Come to mother. Never. You know you want to. It's a lovely feeling. I haven't felt this relaxed in years. You can feel it, can't you? The life draining out of you. No. No, you shut up. Just shut up. Is there any way to talk to your mother? After all, I am the only one who understands oh. you. Who oh. accepts you, warts and all. <laughs> Look at you, crawling across the floor. You don't deserve to live, Todd. You are sick. And there is no cure for what ails you. No, you're, you're wrong. There is. She's just on the other end of that phone. 
Why are you looking at me? You gotta go find Todd. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm out of the Todd Manning rescuing business, okay? He got himself into this mess, he can get himself out of it. And if he can't? Well, then maybe you should have told John this, and then John could go look for him, all right? Miss Rattaya, it will be better for Star if we can brief Todd before the cops get to him, because then he can take responsibility for the breakup. That is a lot of legal mumbo-jumbo. I'm not good at it. Why don't you go look for him? Because I have to be here for when John questions Tomas and for Star's arraignment. Well, I don't even know where he is. He could be anywhere. And if John's already looking for him, who's to say I'm going to get there before he does? Come on. You know him better than anyone, Blair. This is not the time to back down. This is the time to step up. Like you said, you need to be the hero here. You'll never make it. And even if you do, those people don't understand you. They love me. They just love your money. Oh, should I say my money? That was the coup de grace, hearing Victor's will. You should have seen their faces. I thought Tina was going to have a stroke. If only. You know, I bet we could drive her mad. Don't you think? You, me, and Victor, three voices from beyond the grave. Because that's where you're headed. Forget the phone. Give me your hand, and all your troubles will be forgotten. Give me your hand. Answer here. No matter what I do, somebody's gonna get hurt. <sighs> Why couldn't your mother have just left Brody alone? Then I would be with Brody and she would be with John and everything would be how it was supposed to be. You got anything? Yeah. Yeah, I've got two shell casings and uh, one slug and Irene. And then there's this blood over here. I need confirmation from the lab, but I have a feeling it's the shooters. I bet that blood is Todd Manning's. John just went back to the scene. I'm sure when he gets back, he'll want to question you, so we need to prepare. Later. It's been a hell of a day. Starting with the reading of the will, then the bombing, starting arrested, now me. Todd's on the run. It'll be a while. Yeah, that's why I can't wait. You're already looking at one count. You could be linked to Todd's shooting. Okay, so... How did Todd get shot, by the way? Irene shot him. And then you shot Irene? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. T Todd is not stupid. Why would he run? I mean, he knew I could make a, a deal for him with the bombing. There were mitigating circumstances. So he wouldn't have run unless... Leave it alone, Barry. Don't. Oh. You didn't shoot Irene. Todd did. 